Hi, hello and welcome to another video on Quartz Components. Today I'll be demonstrating how you can interface the voice recognition module version 3.1 with an Arduino Uno and use it to control devices. I have used four LEDs of different colors and a buzzer in my case to make the connection simple and easy to understand. What devices you wish to control once you are done understanding the concepts of the device is completely up to you. You can control the electrical appliances present at your home using this module by connecting those with a relay and you are done. So let's see how the connections work. So I have used the UART pins present on this board as you can see. So the connections are, I have connected the ground pin to the ground pin of the Arduino. The 5 volt pin of the Arduino goes to the VCC of the module. Then the RX pin of the module is connected to the pin number 3 and TX pin is connected to pin number 2. That's it for the module and the Arduino. For the LEDs and Arduino, I have used pin number D9 to D12 to connect the LEDs to Arduino. Then pin number D8 for connecting the buzzer. That's it, that's it for the connections. And you, if you wish to, you can check out the connections in the blog that is in the description to resolve any confusions that you might have. So once the connection work is completely done, we will open our Arduino IDE. So before getting into any code, we need to download the library for the module first. To download the library, you just have to click the link in the description. It will lead you to the page that has the library. What you have to do is once you're on the page, just scroll a bit downwards and you will find the link. Just click on it, a dialog box will appear asking you where you want to save your file. Once you are done with it, extract the zip file, paste it in the Arduino libraries folder and it's done. So now come back to the Arduino IDE, go to files, examples, search for voice recognition module. Once you find it, click on the voice train example. Okay, open that example and uh, upload the code. Now the code has been uploaded and uh, just open the serial monitor. Once you open the serial monitor, check that the baud rate should be 115200 or, uh, or otherwise you will see some uh, strange symbols on the screen. So once that is done, uh, you will see a set of commands that will help you through interfacing this module. So uh, you can use two commands to train this module that are train or sick train. So train and sick train are basically the same functions. They will help you train the module to recognize your voice. What sick train does different from train is it will allow you to provide a signature to that training record as well. So uh, say you said hello and if you uh, use sick train, it, whenever you say hello, the serial monitor will return a, a hello in front of the signature section. That is all. Just type train zero on the text box present uh, in the top of the serial monitor. Once you are done typing it, press enter. When you press enter, the serial monitor will throw something called speak now. So speak now, you just have to speak whatever you wish to. It will record your voice and throw a command called speak again. So you have to speak the same thing again. If it recognizes it, it will say uh, success training success and if it does not it will say can't match now at this point do not panic if it returns can't match because it is possible that it might have caught some noise from here around the surroundings or something so it is advisable to be in a quieter setting so that it has minimum noise to record and completely recognizes your voice once you are sending it also it might take some tries for it to recognize your voice so that is not a problem it might happen that it may take five to six tries even so do not panic just be patient with it and you will eventually get it done it took many tries for me as well but eventually i got it done and now here's the project once you are done training one voice you can also train other voice of your choice so you can train up to 80 voice commands but keep in mind that you can only use seven of them at once I have also trained 9 commands but I will be using 7 of them to control the project here. So you can train the commands in the same manner as I told you just now. You just have to increase the number like train 1, train 2, train 3, train 4 and it will keep on uh, recording the voice that you sent. So that's done. Now let's see how the project works. So the code of the project is given in the block. 
so you can directly access the code and let's see how the project overall works white red red green blue off so i have used five commands to control the leds four of them to turn each of them on and the fifth command that is off to completely switch off all the lights that is five commands i have two commands remaining now so i had two commands to play with i did one with blink and the seventh one i tried with some buzzer like i used delay and all to make it seem like a timer so here goes blink blink as you can see it does not recognize my voice at once it still takes some tries so do not panic it is normal it might not recognize at once but it will eventually recognize your voice so for the last command and for the show stopper we have detonate i have covered the buzzer with my thumb to avoid loud noises so that's the case so there you go it's done now the project is successfully working as you can see so this is it for the video and i hope you like this video the connections are relatively simple they are easier to make you can also check out the blog to see the connections if you have any confusions and subscribe to god's component for more such content like this video share it with your tech buddies and thanks for watching see you in the next one